Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Place here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, I know it's been just a bit since I posted some tutorials. Um, I got some more coming soon here, um, but I'm running out of a lot of time, so I'm trying my hardest to get some videos out for you guys. Um, into this video, we are going to be doing a refresh command. Now, this command is new. Um, this was actually done a while ago by... Um, Zer on my uh, Discord server, so shout out to him. He'll be in the description and everything like that. So he did make this. This is basically an advanced or better version and more cleaner version of uh, my refresh command that was super old. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you do enjoy this video, and um, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody. And uh, we are almost at 16,000, and that's also amazing. I I'm just so happy we're just growing and growing every minute. Um, also, join the Discord. It is in the description, and uh, we do help out everyone in there that need help. So, basically, uh, you're going to go in the description, and you're going to find the model, um, and you're going to click this right here. And it's going to bring you here, and you're basically just going to click here or hit download, or, and it should just say item own, basically, and hit try in studio. Um, once you have it, basically, you are going to be importing this into your game. So, go into Studio, and we are going to open it up. I already have it over here, but basically, go to Toolbox. You can open the Toolbox behind the Home tab. Go to your inventory right here, and it should be the first one right here. When you click it, it should just give you the script, but you're going to want to make sure that you put it in Server Script Service. So, make sure it is in there. So, inside here, we just have a few things. Um, it, it, it may be a little more like advanced than the other one, as you can tell, but it's mu much nicer. So, um, yeah, here is, is, is his Roblox profile if you want to check that out. But, um, yeah, this is about it. So, we have services for players. So this is basically getting every player in the game. So, we have that. Then we have a prefix, which is going to be, um, oh, which is going to be slash. Now, um, you can change this to however you like. So it could be a uh, semicolon, it can be a colon, it can be a comma. You can literally do anything you want to do. So feel free, or you can do an exclamation point, etc. So feel free to just change it how you like. I like slashes, but you know, feel free to mess with this. So this is the prefix. So in here we have a command table. This is what basically he added on that made it pretty much nicer, and this will help um, make sure that we don't. Um, send too many commands and it doesn't cause the player to keep reloading and it has problems because that's what we had last time so command name is refresh um you can change this how you like uh i don't recommend really touching this but just keep this right here um then we have the command um aliases which is basically the um what it's going to be called so if a player does slash re slash refresh or slash respawn that's what it's going to be so any, all of these words are going to be um, what goes after the slash. So we could say, you know, slash, um, let's see, uh, reset. That's another one. So slash reset. Um, that's whatever. But yes, yeah, so reset works. So you'll just basically put reset like that. So we have the command function right here. And this is what we'll be running in here. Um, basically, what happens is um, we grab the player. I mean, the character of the player. So workspace color dot name. We make sure we get that. Um, then we grab the humanoid root part. So once we grab the character's humanoid root part, we then get the refresh uh, C frame. So this is basically the humanoid root part C frame, which is where it is located. So on the map where it's going to be located, where that person is. Then we have the caller load character. So we're going to load the character again. It's insane. We basically refresh the character of the player that's calling this. If we find a force field, then we're going to destroy it. Now, I don't know if this force field was working last time I tested it, so I need to make sure. I might need to refresh that. But um, basically, we find the force field and we destroy it. Then right here, we wait for the humanoid. And um, right here, we grab the wake workspace, grab the humanoid root part, dot C frame, and we refresh C frame. So we're basically grabbing the C frame from the humanoid root part at the beginning. And then when they do slash refresh, I mean, when they do slash refresh, we grab that humanoid root part before it resets. Then we grab the new one and we set it back to where they were. Then we have the chat function. So when the player gets added, as in all the players in the game, when one person just joins the game, we're calling the local variable and we're making it player. So that's what we're getting, a player. So let's say you chatted. This is what it's going to be saying. So if the player chatted, we're going to grab their message that they chatted in the command, in the chat box. Then we're grabbing an args variable and we're basically going to be splitting this message. So this is where we're splitting it. And um, if you need to add, in case you want to add more command, this is how arguments, yeah. So this is, this is some good documentation right here. So then we check if is command equals false. Um, when we check, when we make it, the thing called is false. So um, for index command, um, we're going inside the table basically right here. So we're making a new um, 
command. We're basically calling new variable called command, and we're checking in this table right here. And then we go inside the aliases, and we go to the command aliases right here, and we check if their command that they said matches what the second thing was. So if it was the Elias, so if it was one of these, then the command is true. And then if the command is true, we are going to um, go right here and we are going to do the command function, which will run this. And for the reason B right here is, I guess you could say the debounce. So we basically set the command to true, as in say they just called the command. So the command just went, it just happened. Then if it is, then we do that. And then when we basically chat again, it's already going to be set to false because they're just, we want it to be false. We don't want it to always be refreshing um, when they chat. So um, if you want to add this to your command uh, folder and the module and all that kind of stuff, I'd recommend just copying all this into module Well, this part right here into module and keeping this in the server script. But um, I just, you know, you could just use a script and keep it right here and this should work perfectly fine. But like I said, when you go into the game, you basically be able to do slash re refresh and all that stuff. One thing that I could not really solve was the camera angle. It still is having problems. And I don't know why, guys. Like, I really, I, I don't understand. Um, and I probably won't ever understand because it's confusing me. But as you can tell, reset works and everything like that. So I, I need to figure out why the force seal is not working either. But yeah, so that's about it. It's pretty simple. It's just an updated version. I thought I'd bring it out to you guys because um, Sir worked on it and I don't want it to go away. So you might as well, you know, probably want to see it. But um, yeah, go give him a follow on his profile. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,